Hey there, everyone. Welcome to GMB Gorilla. My name is Rody, and this is Ask the Gorilla. So today, I'm going to teach you about what a good Google My Business logo image looks like. So if you remember from our last video, we showed you how to upload those images to Google. So right now, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of what goes into one of those images and what makes an image good and ready for Google. Let's go ahead and get started. So of course, if you want to see your photos, remember like last time, click on the photos section here on the left side and you can scroll down. Now I deleted the one we had before just because, well, to be honest, it wasn't really that well optimized for Google as a logo image. So let's see why. So here is the image I was working with, right? I created this in Canva. So Canva is, is pretty cool. It's, it's super quick and there's a lot of good stock images. That's why I like it for, you know, quick jobs. But if you're going to be designing a logo for real, I always would recommend something like Affinity Designer or Illustrator even. So, but for now, we're just going to throw this together really quickly so I can show you what goes into a decent logo for Google. Now, here's the one we used last time. So here's Funky Gorilla, and this is for Funky Gorilla's banana stand, that fake business I made. Now, you need to know that Google wants it to be a square. When you upload a logo file, you want it to be a square. Now, what's wrong with this one? Well, it actually shows up as a circle. So what we want to do is we want to eliminate everything from the outside edges that isn't going to be part of the logo. So unfortunately, as cool as he is, Funky Gorilla has got to be out of this shot. So we're just going to go ahead and pull him out just like that. Okay. Now, what we have left is we have this interesting background here with the bananas and the pink. It's, you know, it's kind of exciting. There's a lot going on, but truthfully, it's going to be seen as a small circle. So what we want to do is we actually want to make the logo as big as possible. So here, this isn't going to be a Canva course, but here I'm just going to quickly explain that. I'm just going to group all these together so I can increase them all at the same rate. So here we go. Now you want it to be in the center, of course. And again, one of the easy things about Canva is that it likes to line things up for you. You can see right, everything is centered there. We can even make it a little bit bigger. Now, I don't mind having the pink in the background here just because it will, you know, just stand out a little bit better, right? And this isn't that great of a logo. I know, don't, you know, don't hate me for it. It's just uh, something I threw together for a quick demonstration. But what you want is to make sure that it's a big circle just like this, um, something you can see in a radial format, right? And when you're done, just hit download, right? We don't need to go through this because we already did this in the last video, but you just want to hit download, uh, save your image, Okay, and then go ahead and upload it here to your um, logo. And if you don't, if you're not seeing it, by the way, all you need to do is refresh. And there we go. The option for the logo will come up again. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. And if you need help with these logos, if you need help managing your Google My Business profile or Google My Business listing, all you got to do is just send us an email at gmbgorilla.com. Uh, come check us out. Let us know if you need help. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.